Dear friends, welcome to Bond with Arctic Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain dilute solutions and its colligative properties. We know that solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more than two components. In solutions, the particle size is less than one nanometer or smaller than one nanometer. So, solution can be defined as it's a mixture of solute and solvent. When you add solute to the solvent, there is a formation of solution. Here solvent, this is a dissolving medium in which a solute can be dissolved. Generally in solution, the major component is called as a solvent and the minor component is called as solute. Based on concentration, that is based on relative amount of solute in the definite amount of uh, solvent, solutions can be classified into dilute solution, concentrated solution and saturated solution. Let's take solvent, that is water. When you dissolve very little amount of copper sulfate, then there is a formation of uh, dilute solution. When you dissolve more amount of copper sulfate, there is a formation of concentrated copper sulfate solution. When you add maximum amount of uh, copper sulfate to the water, then there is a formation of saturated solution. So you can prepare dilute solution by, by the addition of very little amount of solute to the solvent. Concentrated solutions by adding more amount of solute to the solvent. And saturated solution means, it means you have to add maximum amount of uh, solute to the solvent. But these terms are very vague since there is lack of uh, quantitative preciseness. These are qualitative terms. These are not quantitative terms. There is no quantitative preciseness between dilute solution and concentrated solution. We know that the properties of uh, solutions are entirely different from the properties of either solute or solvent. The properties of solutions can be classified into colligative properties and non-colligative properties. For better understanding of colligative properties and the non-colligative properties, let us take the, this one is sugar, I have taken sugar and uh, this one is salt and uh, this one is copper sulfate. These are three different uh, types of solutes. Let's take uh, 0 uh, 1.0 mole of uh, sugar and 0 0.5 mole of copper sulfate and uh, 0 0.5 mole of copper sulfate and 0 0.5 mole of salt. When you dissolve in one liter of uh, water, then there is a formation of uh, one molar sugar solution and 0 0.5 molar of uh, salt solution and 0.5 molar of copper sulfate solution. Suppose if you measure the properties such as uh, vapor pressure, boiling point, melting point and uh, osmotic pressure. The four properties of uh, 1 molar sugar solution, 0.5 molar of salt solution and 0.5 molar of copper sulfate solution are same. It means the colligative properties of uh, dilute solutions depends on number of solute particles, not on nature or identity of solute. Here we have taken three different uh, types of uh, solutes, but these solutes have same number of uh, solute particles. That's why these four properties, vapor pressure, melting point, boiling point and osmotic pressure. These four properties are same for these three solutions. But if you take a sugar, it is a sweet in nature. And if you take a salt solution, it's a salty in nature. When you compare these two solutions uh, in taste wise, this one is a sweet in nature, this one is a salty in nature. So here there is a difference in taste. These properties are called as non-colligative properties. Non-colligative properties, uh, they depends on identity of solute 
and also identity or nature of solvent. Let's take the salt and the copper sulfate solution. If we compare these two solutions, or if we compare sugar solution and copper sulfate solution, if we take color of the these three solutions, these two are colorless, but this one is blue in color. Here also, there is a difference in color between sugar and copper sulfate and salt and copper sulfate solution. So these properties uh, depends on identity or nature of solute and also solvent. So these properties are called as non-colligative properties. So what is the difference between colligative and non-colligative? In colligative, the properties only depends on number of particles, not on nature of solute. But in non-colligative properties, the properties which depend on identity or nature of solute and also nature of solvent. Okay, these are some uh, non-colligative properties, taste, color, density, acidity, basicity, surface tension, viscosity, and solubility. These are non-colligative properties. If you take colligative properties, uh, these properties which depend only on osmolarity or osmolality, okay, these terms indicate the number of particles, the number of solute particles per liter. This osmolarity measures the number of solute particles per liter. And osmolality, this one measures the number of solute particles uh, per kz solvent. These properties only depends on number of particles not on identity or nature of solute. Identity or nature of solute means uh, it, it does not, the colligative properties uh, do not depend on chemical composition of a solute or the size of the solute particles. But colligative properties, these are properties of uh, solvents, it depends on nature of solvent. Suppose if you take colligative properties of water, when you compare with the colligative properties of benzene, there is a difference in colligative properties of water and benzene. It depends on the nature of solvent. And the properties, these colligative properties are properties of ideal solutions, ideal dilute solutions and the, the solutions which have non-volatile solute. These type of solutions can exhibit colligative properties. What is the condition? The solution should be ideal and dilute. And the solution should have non-volatile solute. These are the four colligative properties which only depend on number of solute particles, not on size or composition of uh, solute particles. That is the nature of solute particles. The first one is uh, lowering of vapor pressure, this is the first uh, colligative property and second one is elevation of boiling point and the third one is uh, depression of freezing point and fourth one is osmotic pressure. These four properties which only depend on number of particles not on nature of solute particles. Then what is the importance of colligative properties? What are the applications of colligative properties? In, in daily life, we can find so many applications uh, of uh, applications of colligative properties. I am I am taking only very few applications of colligative properties. The first uh, application is that we can calculate or we can determine the molecular weight of uh, unknown solute. What is the reason? If you take any colligative property, there is a relation between concentration of a solute and that colligative property. In concentration, we can, uh, in concentration term, we have molecular weight. So there is a relation between property of a colligative property of solution and the molecular weight of solute. So we can, uh, by measuring colligative properties, we can easily determine the molecular mass of solute. The second one is working of antifreeze. In cold areas, we use a mixture of ethylene, ethylene glycol and water in the radiates of 
an automobile. Suppose in winter season, there is a drop in temperature. So, there is a formation of ice. In order to prevent formation of ice, uh, there is an agent of ethylene glycol. We know that ethylene glycol is a non-volatile solute. When you add non-volatile solute to the water, there is a decrease in freezing point. So, the water will be in liquid state even there is a drop in temperature. At the same time, in summer, there is an increase in temperature. If you add ethylene glycol to the water, there is an increase in boiling point. There is elevation of boiling point. So, in summer, there is no evaporation of water. In winter, there is no formation of ice. So, ethylene glycol is, is used as antifreeze in cold areas. And uh, we know that uh, we can preserve food items uh, such as uh, we can prepare pickles or we can uh, preserve uh, meat by soaking uh, these food items in salt solution. There is a preservation of uh, these food items it is due to osmosis. We have so many applications I have taken very few applications. This is the importance of uh, colligative properties. In coming videos, I will explain the four corrugated properties and the relation between uh, concentration and uh, the corrugated properties and also the methods which are which can be used for the determination of uh, these corrugated properties. Thank you. Thank you very much.